Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Pro video for February 1st, 2023. Well, as we begin a new month, my goodness, we decided that we had a tremendous appetite for risk yesterday, stretching the market in defiance of economic indicators and the pending Fed decision. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the day. Right now, I think we are poised for one of two results. First off, the market right now, the way it's pricing, has to believe that the Fed is going to roll over and that these economic numbers that show weakness of the consumer doesn't matter. So either that is correct and Jerome Powell rolls over and we see this market stretch to the upside and all bulls all the time from that point on, or, or, institutions have us have retail traders just exactly where they want them and Jerome Powell comes in and disappoints the market and they fleece the retail traders accounts of their capital as we turn and move back lower now both of those situations seem pretty dangerous to me and both of those circumstances could create very big point moves in the market so if you're overly long and Jerome Powell disappoints everyone, and we start heading lower sharply, I would look for some big point moves to the downside. Just think about yesterday, just rec just going back down to, for, to um, yesterday's low is over 300 points. If we were to drop below that, well, you know what the numbers are. Five, six, seven, 800 points could easily be achieved. Same thing could be true if Jerome Powell does satisfy what the market wants and he rolls over and said, ah, from here on out, now, nah, inflation's not a big deal, these numbers. Everything that he said about putting balance into the employment market um, doesn't matter anymore. He's going to roll over on that. And um, we start easing money policies again and we shoot up. And if you're overly short, you get your head taken off. So as you look at this market, just understand there is significant different uh, danger over the next couple of days. I think this is a hazardous environment for most retail traders. And I can tell you for myself, man, I just want to pop some popcorn, put up my feet, and sit back and watch the show because I don't want to put my money at risk in this environment. We are clearly very extended in the short term of this market and the stage is set for some very big point moves. So let's take a look here. If you can uh, notice here in the Dow, we pushed right back up in here to test that resistance of that wedge, uh, the top side of that wedge. And you'll notice right in here, we didn't quite make it up there to just two days ago to retest that resistance. We did recover all of Tuesday's selling, but we didn't quite make it up there. So still that uncertainty with um, resistance above. So if those bulls find inspiration, well, the first place we would probably go is right up to there maybe up into that high point in the chart and keeping in mind we're pushing very hard resistance levels in this chart on the diamonds and if we can explode through that then maybe all the way up here to the top side of this wedge that's going to be a huge point move to the upside if the bears however find inspiration well a retrace back down to test yesterday's low seems like a possibility and if we were to break that price support maybe we go a little bit lower grab some of this price support in here that's another huge point move in the market we're probably looking at five plus hundred points um, if we were to pull back into there and if that were to fail then we come down here um, and maybe break this wedge to the upside so boy there's a lot at stake here um, we're at the cusp of a decision here in the market which direction we're going to go if we take a look at our spy SPY uh, very defiant um, yesterday we had um, 
PMI numbers that came in less than expected, showing manufacturing is still in decline and in contraction. We had consumer confidence numbers that weakened yesterday, and we don't care. It was all about buying and pushing up. Now, this is a bullish technical pattern here in the chart where we broke through that resistance holding the higher low. We're holding that upside trend, but there's a lot at stake today. You'll want to notice that even as we pushed up, we didn't quite break break through that resistance high of just two days ago. We did recover the Tuesday selling. And um, as we push on up here, you'll want to make note that there are big resistance levels above here. And if we can uh, push on through those, well, we're talking about some really big point moves to the upside that could um, be ugly if you're short this market at all or thinking that the market should fall. Now, if you take a look at if the bears find inspiration, well, a reversal right back down in there could be possible. That's a big point move all on its own. And if that doesn't hold, then we come down into here. So keeping in mind, these are big point moves that are possible. They could really be painful if you're over long or over short. And I think it's a very dangerous environment for most retail traders to be involved in. If you take a look at the QQQ, also extremely extended in the short term, noticing that we really haven't had much of a rest in here, but I have to give this to the bulls. This trend to the upside, this is a bullish pattern, pushing up through, holding that higher low, pushing back up, but you'll wanna make note that if the bulls find inspiration today, notice that we didn't come all the way back up there to test the high of Monday, so if we get some bullish inspiration in here, we push up in there, maybe test that high on Monday, keeping in mind, we're gonna be pushing into some very significant price resistance levels in the chart. And if we pop through there, well, there are some big point moves that could be uh, made in the market, uh, moving to the upside as we continue to stretch this um, QQQ hard to the upside. Now, if the market disappoints or becomes disappointed and those bears engage, will a retest back in here? We know that's a pretty, would be a painful move back into that area and if that doesn't hold then we start looking for the next levels down and I would say it's probably down in here that's a significant level in the chart and again a very big point move possible over the next couple of days let's take a look at our IWM IWM remarkably was one of the strongest of the indexes yesterday, really stretching to the upside. Now the good news part of that for the bulls is there has been a lot of history of IWM being the leading indicator for the overall market condition. And you can see this is leading right now in a very strong move that actually broke through this big resistance level in the chart yesterday and pushed on up. So let's keep an eye on that. Perhaps IWM is telling us that the bulls are now in control, that everything is great in the economy and that we should be moving strongly higher. Or it may be telling us that the market got out ahead of itself, got overly confident, and we've set a major trap for the bulls here if um, we get some disappointment in the market. So if those bulls find inspiration here today, then I would look for that move from um, where we are in here. And let's move up into some of these next areas of resistance in the chart and see if we can test those. That's some pretty big point moves. Once again, if the bears find inspiration today, well, a reversal here just back down to the low of yesterday is a pretty big move for IWM. And we could certainly see that possibility if that were not to hold, then this gets really ugly really fast. So kind of keep those things in mind as you uh, think about the market. If we take a look at our VIX, interesting moves in the VIX yesterday. Well, we saw that uh, that point move on Tuesday, that selling point move, spiked volume quite a bit. It's interesting that the move that we saw yesterday didn't really recover 
on that fear. So it does show us there is some energy out there, some fear still lingering out here in the market uh, for what might happen today. So you'll want to keep that in mind. But having said that, I'm going to say that the bulls are definitely in control here of the VIX. They have no fear as to what may happen next here in the market. And I do think that sets up a complacency problem here. If the market does end up disappointed, we could see a big point move to the downside. So you'll want to be kind of careful here and not over trading the market. Um, if the bulls get exactly what they want here in the market, then I would expect a very big move to the upside. And that move could easily start breaking these support levels down here in the chart and we continue to move into more of complacency zone here as we extend and extend and extend these prices in the market right now well it's actually a little bit more than this but as of monday the pe ratio on the s p 500 is still 43 percent above the historical average meaning there's not much cheap here in the market on a comparative basis so just kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 indicator, well, we stretched this thing, man, we pulled that rubber band about as tight as it goes. Now I have seen this peg at 100 before, and we just really gave this a stretch yesterday. Pushing up here toward that, we closed at 98.45, which means, we really don't have a whole lot of space for this indicator to move. That doesn't mean the markets can't continue to move up, but it also tells us that we are at high risk of a potential pullback here in the market. So we've lingered up here for a while and we can continue to linger up here, but watch carefully if Jerome Powell happens to disappoint the market today, look for that big potential move to the downside because we don't have we can squeak out a little bit more upside here but we have opened a massive door to the downside and unfortunately the appetite for risk has a lot of retail traders really in a risky position heading into today so be wise protect your capital and watch that closely if we take a look at our t2108 well t2108 also extended on higher 78 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average and you'll notice in here that is a rare occurrence since 2017 over here we've only had very few occurrences where we have been stronger than that and you'll notice that there has not been a time that that didn't bring in some substantial selling. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, we are in a very extended condition. And if we look at our T2107, well, T2107, very similar. If you'll notice across here, this goes all the way back to 2017, the high point, the high point of 2021, the January where we began the bear market sell-off was up here. Okay. Do you think our market conditions are good enough that we should be all the way back up here? I personally don't. That's fine if you believe that to be true. But what we're looking at here in T2107 is also a very extended condition. You can see when we reach up into these levels, we typically have some pretty substantial pullbacks in the market. Now that doesn't mean we have to go all the way back to the lows of the market, but it could still create some very painful conditions for retail traders that are over long. If we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 just keeps whipsawing back and forth here. And I think that is because we continue to see, if we look at the Dow yesterday, extremely low volume. We had this huge rally with extremely low volume in the indexes. SPY ended up at the end of the day catching up on that volume and QQQ at the end of the day um, caught up on that volume because of dark pool activity. But that during the day, very, very light um, volume here in the market, which makes me pretty nervous overall and makes me just question whether um, this is real or if this is a trap being set 
for the retail traders. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, guys, well, we have quite a bit to deal with on that economic calendar for today. First off, we're going to get mortgage applications here this morning. Um, um, we'll want to watch that. That's been slightly improving here recently as those rates have come down. Um, that may continue to be the case this morning. We've got an ADP number here this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Remember, Jerome Powell continues to talk. We've got to bring balance back to that jobs um, sector. He's looking to um, depress that a little bit. And so far, those numbers have not been depressing. So we'll want to watch these numbers closely. Um, if they start to come in and start to show that um, his activity is working, Powell's activity is working, then maybe that could be a bullish number. If it's not, that might act as a bearish number. Keep in mind, we've got a PMI manufacturing the number this morning. Um, but, uh, today, the Chicago PMI yesterday came in um, neg or bearish, showing a decline from last month, but nobody cared. Um, and then we're going to get the bigger number, the ISM manufacturing number here today. So watch those numbers. We've got construction spending. We know that has been declining here recently. We'll want to watch that. And then the job openings report. This is going to be important for Jerome Powell. So kind of keep in mind um, on that. He needs to start seeing those job openings declining. We've got a petroleum status today. And then the big guy comes in and it won't be all that important about what he does for the Fed announcement. We know he's going to raise the rates by a quarter point. Um, it's going to be how he sounds here. And I think there is actually a chance that Jerome Powell will come out and suggest that the target rate, the upside target rate, has it been increased due to this market activity that they're gonna to plan to push on forward and possibly higher targets and in interest rates because of this market activity. So I hope I'm wrong, but watch that carefully. I think he's gonna sound pretty darn hawkish in his comments. As we move forward, you wanna keep in mind we've got those jobless claims, productivity and costs, factory orders, natural gas reports, some bond auctions, and then we get that employment situation number coming on Friday with ISM numbers coming in there as well. So we're not done with this week. And, and not only that, we just have a huge um, rest of this week of earnings reports that are potentially market moving. Now, I can't cover all the earnings reports that we're going to be going over um, that are going to happen today. I'm going to run through just a quick few. You may want to um, locate that link for the morning blog, and that will give you the full list of potential notable reports today. Um, after the market closed today, we're going to hear from another big tech, uh, Meta. That's going to be an interesting report today, considering what we saw in some of those uh, numbers yesterday on tech. A little bit of uncertainty in that. And if you'll notice here in the um, aftermarket yesterday, after we got some of those tech numbers, Meta actually saw some selling coming into in the aftermarket um, as a result of some of those um, reports that came out. We're going to hear from um, Aflac, so we're going to catch a little insurance reporting today. Um, Allstate is also in there. We're going to hear from um, EAT. We're going to hear from um, HOLX. We're going to hear from eBay later today. You might want to keep an eye on that one. We're going to hear from Peloton. I understand Peloton has already reported this morning. That's looking higher um, at the moment, so keep an eye on that. We've got some um, uh, health care in there that's going to be reporting today. And we're going to hear from Waste Management. So be kind of careful out here. There's a lot of reports and a lot of potential market movers um, that could move us dramatically. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you 
find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I do truly, truly appreciate it. And um, thank you so much to everyone who shares these videos out on their social media feed, also helping the channel to grow. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few of these charts, and please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, like I said, I want to do very little today I kind of want to put up my feet I want to sit back and watch the show I want to protect my capital because that is a very big part the fear of missing out is a very very strong emotion in the market and um, it pushes people into very dangerous positions here think about what it means to be in the business of trading and that if you protect that capital when all of the smoke clears from all of this volatility that's likely going to be created, there's going to be great opportunities then, and we don't have the same amount of risk. So be careful of the fear of missing out. Um, let's take a look at a few charts in here that could be setting up. One of the things that you guys know that I have been mentioning is this um, AMD um, situation here in the market. AMD reported well, and now the the critical thing is, um, we're trying to break through this resistance here in the chart. The critical thing is now prove that you can actually break out there and hold. And then I'm probably going to be uh, buying some AMD if that is the case. If we're actually going to turn this uh, market over bullish, then I want to be a buyer in here around that. I didn't want to risk heading into the earnings, but I want to um, watch that next opportunity in a chart like AMD. So I'm going to be looking at charts that have kind of passed those earnings events. And um, getting past those, I want to be looking for those good quality patterns that could be setting up after the fact, not rush into those earnings events that can be very very dangerous um, and you can see the results of something like that look at all the folks that rushed into the snap earnings report that are really getting hurt today um, by over speculating and gambling um, um, on an event that's nothing more than a coin toss so be very very cautious and careful uh, moving forward let's take a look there was a report out this morning of the massive buying that, of gold that's been going on by the central banks and um, I think GLD continues to set up long I would watch that closely in here um, there has been tremendous buying in this area now think about it guys why would the central bank suddenly be buying up a bunch of gold hmm so think about that carefully and watch that closely here in the market another place that you might want to watch is this TLT TLT could be setting up here um, for a potential move and break out um, to the upside if the market's going to be bullish we're going to see bonds becoming very very important um, here soon so we're, we're going to have to see those bond rates declining um, if that's going to be the case so watch that closely there may be some opportunities coming here in TLT again if you guys remember my initial entry TLT was right there that's, there's that higher low and what I'm really looking at is I'm looking at this weekly chart and that's where I've placed my price alert um, on that weekly we've broken the downtrend we're trying to hold higher lows here and now we're resting in this nice little consolidation and we're coming out here toward the trend so I'm going to be watching to see if that pops through and that's when I'll be backing up the truck and uh, buying into TLT um, heavily so watch those closely um, other places that you could look here in the market boy um, um, utilities utilities could be setting up short here there's a quite a bearish flag setting up here we've been moving in this downtrend move down we've got this little bearish flag starting to show up against that resistance maybe look for a potential short in um, XLU on the other side of things take a look at materials anything in that materials sector and boy one of the things I've really been favoring is I want to get long some uranium in here and unfortunately this extension I can't change it I won't chase it um, CCJ needs a little rest or pullback here in the market but you could take a look at URA 
starting to catch a little bit of a pullback that may set up an opportunity you 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 also getting a pullback that could set up an opportunity so keep an eye on that you might also want to be keeping an eye on some of these other metals out there steel dynamics my goodness what a strong move this has made to the upside steel seems to be very con continuing to stay very very strong here in the market and this resting consolidation could set up the next opportunity to the upside so watch that um, US steel if you're looking for something that might be just a little bit cheaper um, beautiful upside trend nice little resting pullback into that trend could be setting up to the upside and there's quite a few of those looking good you might take a look at something in the copper sector like FCX that's resting up here after breaking through the resistance running in a beautiful upside trend that still has pretty good opportunities to maybe go higher so quite a few of those things looking pretty darn good so with that guys i'm running this video too long i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening today be careful be safe don't overtrade this market there's a lot of danger that could occur over the next 48 hours in this market be very careful and protect your capital i want to wish you all the best and i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning take care everyone